Welcome back. We're going to continue our study of relations, specifically domain and range, but we need to pause and just talk about how to write intervals or a range of numbers. Let's step back to Algebra 1 and just make sure that we remember inequalities. On the left side, we have a bunch of symbols. The first one is just equal to, and so it's just a dot on negative 6 if we were to graph it. The second one is less than. So with less than, it's all the numbers less than negative 4. So it's all the numbers shaded to the left of negative 4, but it doesn't include negative 4, so it's an open circle. The next symbol is the less than or equal to symbol. So this is x is less than or equal to 7. So again, it's all the numbers to the left of 7, but it also includes 7, so we're going to put a closed circle there. The next one is greater than. So we're talking about all the numbers greater than 3, so we're going to shade to the right but it doesn't include three, so we're gonna put an open circle on three. The last symbol is greater than or equal to. So again, this one is all the numbers to the right of negative five, all the numbers bigger than negative five, and because it has the equal to symbol, the line underneath, we're gonna do a closed circle on negative five. Now there are a couple ways to write these inequalities in a more formal manner. The first one is called set builder notation. With set builder notation, what you're going to have is a set of numbers. So you're going to have the curly braces. The first blank is going to be your variable. So it's going to be the set of, and it's going to be like all x's or all y's. The line up and down means such that. So it's the set of all, let's say, x's, such that. And then the last blank is the conditions. This is really simple if you understand inequalities. So for example, I could have the set of all x's such that x is less than 3. So I can take those inequalities that we looked at earlier, and I could simply write these in set builder notation. For an instance, I have x is less than negative 4. So it's the set of all x's such that x is less than negative 4. Or I have the set of all x's such that x is less than or equal to 7. The third one, I have the set of all x's such that x is greater than 3. And the last one, I have the set of all x's such that x is greater than or equal to negative 5. So it's just a formal way of writing the inequalities, and it's pretty simple. A second way of writing these inequalities would be something called interval notation. With interval notation, you're going to have two numbers separated by a comma. I'm going to use the number line at the bottom as an example. So the first number is going to be the smallest number in your interval. So in this example, my smallest number is negative 5. The second number is going to be simply the largest number. So in this example, the largest number is 7. Now, if it's a closed circle, or if it's equal to, you're going to write a bracket next to that number. So negative 5 is a closed circle, which means we're going to include negative 5, so we're going to put a bracket there. If it's an open circle, like on the 7, that means it doesn't include the number. So we're going to use a parenthesis. So a parenthesis means not equal to. We're going to use that in the case of an open circle, or if that shading were to go on forever, to infinity. So what we can do is take our previous examples, and we could write them in interval notation. So we can draw a picture to help us. So the first one is x is less than negative 4. And so what that is, is it's all the numbers less than negative 4. And negative 4 has an open circle because it's not equal to. Now as you go to the left, what you're doing is you're going to all the negative numbers, and it doesn't stop. So as you go to the left, it's going to be negative infinity. So my smallest number is going to be negative infinity. And then my largest number is going to be negative 4. Now, infinity always gets a parenthesis, no matter what. Because you can't equal infinity if it keeps going forever. The negative 4 is an open circle, which means we don't equal to it. So the negative 4 is also going to be a parenthesis. If we look at x is less than or equal to 7, again, draw a picture if you need to. So we have the number 7. And this is going to be everything smaller than 7. And then it's going to be a closed circle because it's equal to. So again, as you go to the left, you're going to negative infinity. So the smallest number is going to be negative infinity. And the largest number in our interval is going to be 7. Infinity always gets a parenthesis. 
And because this is a closed circle, because it equals 7, we're going to put a bracket there. Remember, a bracket means equal to. Let's look at x is greater than 3. Draw a picture if you need to. I have 3. And then I have everything greater than 3, so I'm going to shade to the right. And it's going to be an open circle on 3 because it's greater than 3 and it's not equal to. Now, as we go to the right, you're going to keep getting to the bigger numbers. So you're actually going to infinity. And then my smallest number over here is 3. So the smallest number is 3, and I'm going to a positive infinity this time. Again, infinity always gets the parentheses, and then because it's an open circle and not equal to, we do parentheses. Lastly, x is greater than or equal to negative 5. So if I draw a number line again, here's negative 5, and it's all the x is greater than negative 5, and negative 5 gets a closed circle because it's equal to. So again, as I go to the right forever, that's positive infinity, my smallest number is going to be negative 5. Infinity always gets a parenthesis, and because this is equal to, because it's a closed circle, we do a bracket on the negative 5. Let's look at a few more. So I have, in the first example, negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than 9. So I have negative 2 closed circle, because it's equal to, 9, which is an open circle, and everything between it. So in this case, it's simply the smallest number is negative 2, the largest number is 9, and then negative 2 gets a bracket because it's equal to, and 9 gets a parenthesis because it's not equal to. In the next example, I have everything between 4 and 5. So I have an open circle in 4 and 5 because it's not equal to, and it's everything in between it. So my smallest number is 4, my largest is 5, and then because they're not equal to, both of them get parentheses. In my third example, I have everything between negative 2 and 0. Negative 2 has an open circle because it's not equal to. 0 has a closed circle because it's equal to, and I have everything in between it. So my smallest number is negative 2, my largest is 0. Negative 2 gets a parentheses because it's not equal to, and 0 gets a bracket because it is equal to 0. The last one, I have everything between 5 and 12. Well, again, it's 5, and then over here would be 12, and they're open circles because it doesn't have the line underneath for equal to, and it's everything between those. So I have the smallest number is 5, the largest is 12, and both of those would be parentheses because it's not equal to either of those numbers. Let's look at x is less than 0. So I'm going to put an open circle on 0, and it's everything to the left of 0. And then it says, or x is greater than or equal to 5. So I'm going to put a closed circle on 5, and I'm going to shade everything to the right because it's everything greater than 5. So in this case, you have two shaded regions. So you're going to have two intervals. With the first one, my smallest is going to be negative infinity because it's keep going to the left. And my largest number is going to be 0. Negative infinity always gets parentheses, and because the zero is an open circle, it does not equal to it. It's going to get parentheses. With the second shaded region, my smallest number is 5, and it keeps going to the right, so it keeps going to positive infinity. And so my smallest number is 5, and my largest number is infinity. Infinity always gets parentheses, and that 5 is a closed circle. It's equal to, so it gets a bracket. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just connect these with a U, which stands for union. So it's those two intervals. Let's look at our last example. So I have negative 3, and it's equal to, so it's a closed circle, and it's everything less than negative 3. And then I have negative 1, but it's an open circle, and it's everything greater than negative 1. So again, I have two shaded areas, so I'm going to have two intervals. For the first one, again, it's going to the left, so that's negative infinity and negative 3. So my smallest number is negative infinity. My largest is negative 3. Infinity always gets a parenthesis, and negative 3 is a closed circle. It's equal to, so it gets a bracket. On my second shaded region, my smallest number is negative 1, and it keeps going to the right, which is positive infinity. So my smallest number is negative 1. My largest is infinity. Infinity always gets parentheses, and an open circle, or not equal to, gets parentheses. And then we join it with a U. You have to be able to go back and forth between inequality symbols, set builder notation, and interval notation. 
and that covers the different ways how we will write intervals, especially when it comes to domain and range.